Hello learning birds. In this lesson about Microsoft PowerPoint, we are going to look at making a narration or a voiceover or trying to basically get the timing set on your PowerPoint. So with this, we've already created a PowerPoint according to all the things that, that I've shown you earlier. Our slideshow is all ready to go. We have animation set. We have transition set. We've got um, all of these things ready to go. We have some pictures in here and we have you know words and text. The PowerPoint is basically done. Now if you want to make things a little bit more fancy or if you don't want to be clicking the buttons as you go or if you don't even want to be talking as you go there are some tools in here that will help so that you don't have to do that. You can actually re record your slideshow in advance by using this feature here. When you click on it, you can record from the beginning or start a recording from the current slide that you're on. And when you record, you can record the timing or the narration and laser point, so everything that you say while you're doing it. Now, unfortunately, running that recording while doing a recording is messes up my computer pretty badly. So what I'm going to do instead is do a rehearsal timing, which is basically the same thing, only without the voice and the the um, laser pointer. There we go. So this is how you do it. Hello, today I'm going to talk about my family pet, Fluffy. Meet Fluffy. Fluffy is a bunny, Fluffy is four weeks old, and Fluffy likes to eat lettuce. Here's a picture of Fluffy, my bunny. Fluffy was born February 3rd, 2015. He was the runt of the family, and so we adopted him as a pet, and I named him Fluffy because he has a fluffy tail. What I love most about Fluffy, Fluffy is a great friend. Fluffy is very nice to people. Fluffy is very clean and is soft and, as you might have guessed, fluffy. Whee! All right. So, learning birds, now that I've finished doing what you might have done in that presentation, you'll notice that it stopped and it said it took you 45 seconds to go through all of those slides. Do you want to keep the slides? And we'll say yes. So now what it does is it actually has that timing recorded. So again, you could record using this tool. You can actually record your narration as well, but I just didn't this time. So all I recorded was the timing. So now it will stay on the first slide for 5 seconds, the second slide for 11, the third one for 13, and the final slide it will stay there for 16 seconds. So we can watch as we actually do that. And notice the narration and what I said is not part of it. See, I can say something, I can say nothing. It does not matter what I say. After five seconds, it goes on to the next one. And I can keep talking and practicing with this timing so that when I actually go to the school and I present, I'll be able to say, Fluffy was born in February 3rd, 2015. Fluffy was the runt of the family, so we adopted Fluffy as our pet. I named him Fluffy because he has a fluffy tail. Right? And you can practice it with the timing so that you don't have to be clicking at every slide. It's a neat tool. Um, it's a tool that you can use so that it kind of runs in the background and you don't have to click every single time. All right? And you can also record your narration um, as you go using this tool there, the slideshow recording. All right. Now to get back from that view into normal view, you click down here, and that'll bring you back to this view. So now you've got the view of on the sidebar here, all of the slides, and in here of your actual PowerPoint presentation. So that is showing you the tools for adding a narration or voiceover. You would use this button here, or a rehearsal timing so that you can practice it being a certain length of time, practice it without having all the clicking involved. You can also um, do some other neat things when you have it recorded. So I'll show you some of those tools in our next lesson. But I hope that lesson has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.